Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we will be hauling metal trusses from Las Vegas, Nevada to Phoenix, Arizona. The load weighs in at just under 17,000 pounds and we are being paid just over $28,000. We'll be getting to use this older Ford LTO 9000. Let's take a quick overview here before we get loaded up. Now this is a tri-axle here with a sleeper. I really do like it here in the dark blue. Lots of color match parts on it and this is one sweet looking truck now we are currently here at the construction company and the loads all ready to go here let's get the old ford fired up here now we do have a caterpillar of a 600 horsepower engine in this as well which is pretty awesome i'm really excited to be back here in ats doing some hauling this time we're in a pretty old truck uh we've been known for doing some nice old trucks and this is one of my favorites these old fords uh, do look pretty sweet here especially these triaxle sleepers all these custom parts on it do look pretty awesome now if you do enjoy today's ats video and want to see more please drop a like it's much appreciated as it helps out with the youtube algorithms let's get backed up here to it just about there you guys can see pretty huge metal trusses uh, we will be hauling here all right, we have the iPad, the tablet all set up here. Looks like just under 360 miles. This will be a pretty long one here. Six hours, uh, 15 minutes until we get there. We should be there by the end of today, which is awesome. And this is a little bit on the tight side here. Not too much room uh, leaving this yard. I'm really excited to be back here in ATS here. I definitely really do enjoy featuring this series. I actually want to feature it more and more. And we do have to watch out. Oh, traffic today is going to be a pretty big one. Uh, and leaving here is always tricky. Sometimes these pickup locations are very tricky here. But after this car, we're good to go. Perfect. Now, like I have touched upon, guys, I am a huge fan here of these older trucks here, especially one like this. Uh, this is a pretty sweet one. Look at that traffic backup. One of the biggest backups I've seen here in ATS here. Hopefully, there's not too much going uh, from Nevada to Arizona. I hope everyone's been having a great day here so far. Let me know how it is down low. My day's been so far pretty good here. And I'm just excited to be back here behind the wheel of a semi. And this old Ford here does look pretty cool. It looks like we were over the speed limit just a little there. And sometimes that does happen here. Let's see, let's see which one. We want to go this way. Always want to watch the GPS. One wrong turn. And we could be going an hour or two the opposite direction and lose a bit of time. And we do have to merge on here, guys, and see trucks coming really fast. Wow, I almost uh, kind of got spooked there for a second. That truck was flying, and we do have to get on over. Now, I don't think this haul should be too long here for us. It is a little bit longer, but it's nice to be doing some longer hauls uh, from state to state, which I definitely want to do more of here. Now it's old Ford here, I would probably estimate 20 uh, tw uh, to 30 years old here. Not exactly sure, let me know down below in the comments guys, but you guys can see it's pretty old. And that is why we have to use a tablet here, let's see, 60, wow, we're almost up to uh, the speed limit. Now this coming winter here, I do want to do a weekly ATS live stream along with a weekly ATS video. I think that will be pretty cool. Over on Twitch is uh, going to be the plan there for that. So if you guys haven't already, go check me out. Uh, go give me a follow. And I am posting some ATS pictures on Instagram. If you guys would like to check them out, I really recommend you go to the uh, description and get those links. Now we do have a lot of cool things here in the works, I've been spending a lot of time behind the scenes on some pretty huge projects and I'm just really excited here for them. We'll kind of put the iPad down here for the moment and let's get some cinematic shots here. Oh yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. I'm pretty interesting how that load is distributed but those metal trusses are pretty heavy. 16, 17,000 pounds is a lot of weight here but you guys can see cruising down the road in our old truck. I really do like this. I would probably... Uh, bet that this is kind of a fully restored truck, uh, which is pretty sweet.
It looks like we're cruising right through the Nevada deserts here, which is pretty awesome. One of the best things about American Truck Sim is the graphics and all the physics uh, behind the game. And so far, this old Ford has been doing one great job here. Now, I really do like having around five, 600 horsepower here in the semi. I always try to kind of spec that, uh, and I'm talking about this. One of the options on this truck was just about 400, and I would rather have much more horsepower than have not enough and be struggling on these desert hills. But as you guys take a look at that, we're going over one pretty sweet bridge. Look at those graphics. Uh, this is just pretty awesome here. Wow, look at that, guys. Pretty awesome uh, to just be trucking along here. Now, I do want to go into more and more states like Utah, uh, Montana, all those different ones here. So we'll be doing that as well. And look at that. We are just now arriving here in Arizona, which it means uh, we are getting closer and closer here. But see the iPad. I always try to pull it out a few times. Uh, throughout the hall here. Looks like still around five hours left. So wow, lots of driving still ahead of us. Almost uh, 290 miles. Oh yeah, we'll be there before sunset, which is always a good thing. And uh, I definitely want to do some hauls though where we have to kind of stop, sleep the night, and get going the next day. I think those would be pretty sweet. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. That would be added realism there as well. We aren't running into too much traffic here, which is definitely a good thing. Usually we have a lot of traffic around this time, uh, the 2.30, but I think as we go, uh, more and more we'll probably get into a lot more. And we got to stop here at the wait station. Now, sometimes we have been really lucky and have been able to bypass it, but it looks like we cannot today here. We'll just kind of pull forward here. It's always nice, though, uh, to kind of get off the highway here and just kind of take a break. But usually, I would like to do that at a rest stop and not one of these here. But we've been making pretty good time here. Just about four hours left. And we'll pull forward just a little bit. We'll enter in inspection. And you guys can see 56,000 pounds. And it looks like we're all green we're all ready to go here now getting back up on the highway here sometimes tricky in this old ford and one thing i have been noticing although it is a nice older truck it is not as smooth of a ride as some of the newer ones here but it looks like we got a pretty clean highway behind us and we are ready to go to get merged on here which is pretty sweet and it's always nice to kind of do these now we will definitely have to be stopping soon uh, to get fueled up here this old truck burns quite a lot of diesel and i am watching the gauges through the arizona desert we always have to especially when it's almost 90 100 degrees out here but so far the truck's been doing pretty good and it did get serviced uh, a few months ago so we should be good to go here but we'll just kind of continue on we'll get the iPad back up here and let's see let's see just about four hours and we actually got to get merged over good thing we brought it up uh, having one detour will definitely take up a bit of time and we don't want to be late we're now getting up here on the highway here. Once again, let's get up to speed and see how the old Ford does here. Now, what I really do like about some of these lanes is that it actually goes into a third lane here. That way, you don't have to merge right over onto the traffic, and it makes it a little bit easier, especially for us as a semi-truck. It does take us a little bit of time here. Now, talking about that, I really want to get the Tesla Semi in uh, the latest version of ATS here. There was an update, and the older one does not work here. So hopefully, we could get that Tesla Semi again. I think that will be one pretty cool video and we do have to get over we don't have much time we'll get over yep we're good to go here always uh, just try to be in the proper lane here but I think that would be pretty awesome though to get that new Tesla semi I already did a video but I think doing a, maybe another one maybe with the heaviest thing we could ever haul I think would be pretty sweet we're, but we're just keep going here just making sure everything's good and I think we'll uh, pick the camera back up here in a bit we are coming up here on just over 90 miles left here in today's haul. Roughly an hour and 40 minutes here. And it looks like we do have to go around and around about here. It looks like Phoenix is towards the uh, left. And this is actually a first here. Really haven't gone on too many of these. And this will be a bit tricky here. We are in a big semi. Pretty big turning radius. Hopefully uh, no one does try to kind of just squeeze right by here. And we do have some trucks going. Hopefully uh, that car stops. Yes. And we're good to go. 
Now with this older truck here, even though it is pretty old, we do have cruise control, which is really, really helpful. You just kind of set it and you just kind of go cruising down the highway. Now we didn't have too many big trucks trying to pass us, uh, which was a good thing here. But it looks like we are definitely going to be coming up here on some traffic as uh, we get closer and closer to Phoenix. Now that is pretty cool going from Las Vegas to uh, Arizona and uh, Phoenix. I thought that would be a pretty cool haul here. And I'm trying to change up the hauls. I definitely want to do some maybe fragile cargo next. I think that would be pretty fun along with some other ones here. But it looks like we're climbing back up to highway speeds, shifting right through the gears. And this thing just keeps on working today. Now being so warm here during uh, these uh, deserts, we really do have to watch the temperatures here on the truck, but no problem for us. And it looks like just around 75 miles up to here. Wow, we are getting pretty close uh, to the destination. And if you do have any cool truck ideas here, please let me know. I really do appreciate all of your feedback. It really does help out with the channel. And I definitely uh, will be doing lots more with some older trucks, but also the new ones as well, which is kind of a great mixture for these videos. We're once again getting on a new freeway here. We've been going from interstate to interstate going, and we have been no problem here. But it looks like the sun is starting to set here in the desert, uh, which is pretty awesome here. Now, like I have touched upon, although I do like driving at night, and I really do prefer uh, doing these ATS videos here in the day. It's a little bit easier for all of you guys. Merging is going to be a little tricky. Wow, the truck just went pr by pretty quickly. And we are on here for a moment. We had a big semi coming up, and that is uh, true tricky here but just around almost uh, 40, 40 miles up to here and we do have to get over lane every time you see someone on the roadside you always got to get over it looks like uh, there's a tow truck there probably not the best there but that's always nice uh, to kind of give them the most room possible when working on the side of the road here now we do actually have one of these older uh, Fords in farms and I believe we have it as not only a semi a flatbed truck but a dump truck and I have used it plenty of times here so I thought it was only time uh, to use it here in farms and so far today it's been doing one really good job here 16 uh, 17,000 pounds is a lot but we are actually being paid $28,000 I think this kind of tops the most we've ever been paid uh, to do one haul here so that's awesome a few more of these hauls like this and it would be uh, paying for this truck here now I do keep adding to our fleet keep hiring those drivers uh, which is awesome here and now I do want to do some ATS multiplayer I think that would be a ton of fun maybe you guys come on and join the call and just have a great time on live streaming. We'll head on 17th South here. Now we have come within the city limits, which means we are pretty close. Uh, looks to be just over 16 miles here. Looks like uh, we do have lots of traffic here. And that's one thing we have been pretty lucky about today is only a few really long uh, red lights. Just a lot of freeway driving, which is what I like. But I also do like uh, the back road driving as well. Now with this truck, we don't have a digital uh, dash, really anything like that. It's, it's kind of old school, but that's always nice uh, to get back there and really get to use these trucks. Even though this is old, it's doing a great job, and it's going to get the job done, and that is what counts. And this truck is uh, pretty uh, nice, and it is paid off. Sometimes all the new trucks you see driving around are are on loans, and you have truck payments. But with this old one, we do not have any of those, and that is pretty awesome. There, we'll climb back up here uh, so many times today, like I did touch upon earlier. But wow, we are probably the next exit over, and we are at the drop off. Looks like the traffic is starting to get a little bit less here. It's just past 7 p.m. Oh, yeah, we're almost right on the scheduled drop-off time, which is good. I always try to be in uh, 15, 20 minutes early instead of uh, an hour late here. That's always something and that I really do take a lot of time to do here with the ATS series. But this is just such a fun game. I really want to feature it more and more on the channel. Uh, different trucks. I, I really want to do some videos maybe hauling in the rain during the snow. Oh, maybe during the Utah snow. Washington snow things like that I think would be pretty sweet here but we'll be getting off at exit 201 and it looks like we're just around the corner here yeah less than three miles from you know, the drop off and we're almost going to just roll through the stop here let's see let's see and we cannot we have a lot of traffic coming this way Looks like we're good to go here. This bus driver is being pretty nice. It's always helpful uh, when we do have a few drivers helping us out here because driving a big truck like this is tricky. And that was a tight one. Almost thought we were going to touch there, but we did a pretty good job. 
Oh, that is one awesome Kenmore. They really do like those Kenmores. And I think we've been uh, to this part of Phoenix before. Here you guys can see the sun is starting to come on down. And that's right about time for us to get this dropped off. Looks like our drop off is coming up here on the right hand side. Plaster and Suns here, which is pretty awesome. And let's kind of see where do they want in here. We'll definitely see if we can get backed in. I really do like backing in uh, with the G29 uh, steering wheel and the pedals. It's been pretty awesome. And wow, let's see. How do they want it? Okay, so let's see if we can turn in here. This might be a try or two. This is a little bit tricky as well, but we'll see what happens. Alright, I think the simplest way is just to kind of pull forward here. I was looking around. I was actually going to pull through the uh, front piece back all the way over. But I think this will save us a little bit of time and be as efficient as possible here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's American Trucks and video. Get into use this old Ford LTO 9000 sleeper to haul uh, metal trusses from Las Vegas, Nevada to Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned here for the next one and subscribe for more.